So here we are, Sessions again, NAM 2024, another incredible panel, great people. I'm joined here with the marvelous and great Steve Postel. And Steve, we only got a minute, the panel's coming up. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. If there was one thing you could tell a young musician that you've learned through your career to help them get to the levels you've got, what would you tell them? Study the people who came before you. Don't just listen to what happened the last two years. Go all the way back, take it in. That's really important. We all did that and it sort of became out of vogue, but I think it's still really important. Be on time, be a good person, good hang, and be good at what you do. Lee, great to see you, my friend. You too, so, my friend. Here we are at NAMM 2024, so my question would be for you. As we talk to musicians who are more established in the industry, mm -hmm. how can we help coach them to help younger musicians survive in this industry? Well, I would think with the older musicians, they've been through it, they have a perspective on what younger musicians may be facing, even though it's a very different world than the one most of us came up in uh, that are of my generation. Creating outlets where they can talk about their experience and what younger musicians may be facing as they come up, how to hold on to your dream when things are difficult. You know, I was fortunate enough to be a transitory player as a young player to do sessions with Tommy Desco and, and Hal Blaine and just watching them and how they worked even though what we were doing now was slightly different it's there were so many lessons to be learned so I think whatever formats can be created to really instill interest and there's many times you'll do something and people say I don't like what you're doing and you won't get the gig that shouldn't make you quit that should just make you go okay well I'm gonna look at the next gig Russ, thanks for coming to talk to us at the sessions. So, what advice could you give young musicians to uh, succeed in an industry that's about people? Well, uh, first thing to do would be to seek out uh, players that already have the experience, befriend them, at, talk to them, ask them to tell you stories of you know their days on the road and things that they did and things that happened to them. And then uh, the other thing I would I recommend doing is. Try not to think logically about things, think, think linear about things, and think outside the box. Okay, so Danny, you and I grew up playing music at a time when musicians all played together in the same room. Right. And that doesn't happen as much. We all see these YouTube geniuses. What advice would you give, or what benefits are there we could persuade young musicians that they need to play with other musicians in the same room? All right, well, it's, first of all, it's tremendous fun to start a band. I think it was Dave Grohl who said, just just go into the garage, set up a tension, get a kid from around the block to come play bass, and another kid to play guitar. You'll stink, but you'll have a ball, and you'll get better. And I agree with that philosophy completely. Get together with your pals and, and bang away, man. It's fun. Dom Famulao here, the Sessions panel. This is so exciting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Click the subscribe button to be a part of what we're doing. The views help us tremendously. All of your comments, we read them and react to them. This is incredible. The support you're giving us is great. The Sessions panel, we'll see you real soon.